By default, WooCommerce doesn't have any advanced WooCommerce exporting option. It has some limited options, but for the advanced users, it's not enough. Therefore, today I'm going to show you how can you export all the WooCommerce orders data. But first, let's take a look at what WooCommerce offers us. If you go under the products, as you see, there is no way you can export anything. If you go under the, the reports, you can export a CSV, but it doesn't contain any usual data for you. Now let's go under the analytics and orders. I can see the orders here and I can download something. I'm going to open it up, but still it shows only the status, name, product name, and so on. It doesn't contain any user data here. Now, if you want all other information, then you should go to the plugins, add new, and search for advanced orders export for WooCommerce. This one here. Install it and activate it. Now, if you go to the WooCommerce, there is a submenu export orders here and this is a really powerful tool i'm going to give you a short overview what can you do here first you can filter orders by date modification date paid date or completed date for, for example if you want to export orders between this and that date you can do that for example choose february 1st to february 18th or you can select them by modification date or paid date. Next one, you can change the file name here, file format, date, and so on. Here, if you want to export ref refunds, just check it, mark exported orders, and so on. And here you can change the statuses. If you don't want the pending payment to be exported, just delete it and choose only the ones you need processing on hold and completed you can also filter by product filter by customer for example if you want to export only orders for this customer just select it and you're good to go or maybe you have a couple of user roles customer instructor and so on just choose here all orders for translators for example you can filter by coupon I don't have any coupons here, here, but if I would have, then I can filter by coupons used. Also, you can filter by city used during the checkout and so on. Shipping and filter metadata. And this one here, set up fields to export is also really powerful. Basically every field WooCommerce has you can add to the export, but maybe I don't want the payment method title to be exported. I'm just going to delete those I don't need here. I can also rearrange them by dragging and dropping. First name, last name, customer note. Usually I want the item information to be first. Therefore, I'm going to add it there. If you have some kind of custom fields added to the orders, you can add them here. Add field, meta key, just look for it. If there is none, then you can just type the one here you know. For example, if you have a custom field called address, then just add the meta field here. Give it a column name and field format. Now confirm. It will be added here and you can drag it just here. This way you can add even the custom fields here. At the moment I'm going to delete it. Just save it. And now I can export or export without the progress bar. I'm going to choose the CSV as a format. Export. Open it up. And there you go. Lots of information here. Maybe I don't like the column titles, item or item name. I can change them here. 
for example product name additional information and so on now let's export it as PDF you can choose a format here once again export without progress bar open it up and there it is although the PDF doesn't look any good therefore I would not suggest you to use it but maybe sometimes you need it now if you want the scheduled jobs or something else then you have to pay for the premium version but otherwise this plugin is really awesome I use it on most of my sites now if you find this video helpful then you can thank me by subscribing or pressing thumbs up otherwise before you go take a look at the next video you see on the screen right now it's also full of useful content meanwhile take care